Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be working out these three given problems that involve degree Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. And we normally use these two formulas to convert from six Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. However, I will recommend my students to use this formula that I just put down right up here because this doesn't involve any fractions and it is really user friendly. So let's go ahead and get started with the very first question, very first problem. It says for what temperature will degree Celsius be 20 more than degrees Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and convert this word problem into algebraic problem. Over here you just simply put down this degree Celsius just put down C and wherever you see B is always means equal to and you just put down 20 right up here and more than is same as plus okay and then F is gonna be simply this so we got C equals to 20 plus F and here is the formula that we will be using right now. So wherever you see C, I'm going to replace C by 20 plus F. So let's go ahead and get started. 5F minus 9 times C is 20 plus F equals to 160. Let's go ahead and distribute. So that's going to be 5F minus 180 minus 9f equal to 160. Let's combine these f's together so that's going to give us negative 4f minus 180 equals to 160. I want you to move this negative 180 so I'm going to add 180 on both sides. So far so good. So this is gone over here. So negative 4f equals to 340 on the right hand side. Divide both sides by negative 4, negative 4. So f turns out to be negative 85 degrees so far so good and now we know that c was this much so the c equals to 20 plus now we know f is negative 85 over here and if you simplify this thing so c is gonna be simply negative 65 degrees. So thus at C equal to negative 65 degrees and F at negative 85 degrees C is 20 more than F. And in this next problem for what temperature will degree Celsius be equal to degrees Fahrenheit? Let's convert it into algebraic form. So once again as you can see this is C. B equal to means equal and this is f so c turns out to be equal to f and here's the formula that we will be using right up here so wherever you see c you replace it by f so this simply becomes 5 s f minus 9 c is being replaced by f so become 9 f equal to 160 Simplify this side. This is negative 4f equal to 160 divided by negative 4. So f turns out to be negative 40 degrees. If f is negative 40 degrees and we know c equals to f because they are same. So c is going to be a negative 40 degrees as well. So thus at negative 40 degrees, degree Celsius equal to degrees Fahrenheit. And finally in this 
problem over here for what temperature will degree celsius be twice the degrees fahrenheit once again we're going to convert it into algebraic form so just put down c right up here so wherever you see b means equal to twice the degrees fahrenheit means two times f and here's the formula that we will be using so wherever you see c we're going to replace it by 2 times f so that's going to simply become 5f minus 9 times 2f equals to 160 so that's going to give you 5f minus 18f equal to 160 so that's going to give you negative 13 f equals to 160 i want you to divide both sides by negative 13 so f turns out to be approximately equal to negative 12.31 degrees and if f is this much go ahead and Put this f value in this equation so c equals to 2 times negative 12.31 so c will be approximately equal to negative 24.62 degrees thus at C approximately equal to negative 24.62 degrees and F approximately equal to negative 12.31 degrees. Degree Celsius is twice the degrees Fahrenheit. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.